catches Minter with a left as well. And again. Looking this mark for a very long time indeed. And Minter. And Minter's picking up. He's been forced into a real ward. He's smothered in blood, Minter. And he's in desperate trouble in the third round. He can't. It's stopped in the third round. And Hagler's on his knees. Ride these punches from the shoulders. And there it is. Now he's found. There's the uppercut there. Trying that to size. I found wanting at all. fitness and the way that he throws punches and he almost went down there and fully over on the way up probably not only thinking about trying to stop this fellow but wondering who he's got to fight next and it's all over surely the right hand on the chin very sharp early on two jabs no question about it again scores two more times The face of Hampshire. Wayne, Eli, Ray, work his combination. Work showing on the side of the eye one score of Marvin Hackman. And there's a look at getting the score with the left hand a little bit. Courage he's showing here in standing toe to toe with Hagler. Tremendous efforts by Simpson. But he's coming off the worst and he's over again. And it stops and it's over. And Hagler has retained the middleweight championship of the world. Uh, he certainly has talked a good fight before the off. Oh, well, he's got to look, talk a good one now because you are watching a master craft when it works. He's a little bit useful and a bit dangerous. This is American Yes, so I always give full credit for that. But then he puts him in his place again, Hagler, doesn't he? What a what a workman. Oh, and is it gonna be a formality of a count out? Yes, it is in the fourth round. Right hand that time. He's not usually the counter punch. Watch what happens when Marvin starts throwing his punches. He starts to put his feet together because he's got little dad hurt was hurt by Hagler. And a combination by Hagler as Rodin to his pants. The barrage of punches thrown by Rodin. And Hagler kicking him in close. Rodin trying to hold. Hagler just getting the best. That was a good right hand by Rodin, but he took two and returns to the champion. Rodin just kind of waiting. Rodin. Senses the 
handicap in the condition of Rodin. There was a right hand, and Juan Domingo Rodin goes down. Boxer goes down three times in one round and stop. Oh! I would like to keep this fight at long range. He doesn't want to go. You see, that's where he's so good with the longer punches anyway. He hasn't got much style, Hampshire, but he's a, he's a wearing down fighter. But the right hand right on the chin there. Floundering. Oh, and the right hand again. There was almost a delay as he went down. And that's one of the most complete victories, really, for Marvin Hagler. No other... So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good left by Hagler. And it was Hagler who initiated it, not Thomas Hearns. And a left good by Hagler. Hearns comes back. Working on him, but Hearns uppercutting again. Hagler bloody. A tremendous hurt. Hagler has fought most of this round as a righty. Now he switches. Go hold for it. And the blood begins to trickle down. What a left. Hearns trading with him. Hagler comes back to the right or left. And another right. He has Hearns in trouble on the ropes. It has to be impeding his vision oh, with the right eye. You never right know it though. Another right hand. Hearns turns his back. Takes another right. Hearns in deep trouble again. Hearns is down. Hearns is down in the third round. And on his back. And he's not going to beat the count. The slugfest is on. Anything like this. Too solid. Good combination. He's been throwing his left hand very wide. He's using his left hand. He's done it just a minute ago. A test of physical strength now, and Hagler's yeah, landed a good right. combination. But he can't move that Mugabe back. My God, Tim, what punishment this Mugabe's taken, and he's still there for Mugabe and Hagler won't move back a test of wills finally Mugabe driven back to the ropes and Mugabe fires back he lands a left hook Mugabe is tie-in now Mugabe will come out a much more popular fighter at time Hagler falls apart he will get to what he's doing he's tired now Tim but he still throws bombs. Well, that's the key. The key is the punishment. That's why he's tired. Wings two over the top just for good measure, and he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. But Gubby finally goes down. He's more dead tired than anything else, and it's all over. He's just exhausted from the continual assault. Marvelous Marvin Hagler retains his undisputed middleweight championship of the world.